Good morning guys, it is 5.15 a.m. It's just about getting light. I've just woken up, as you can probably see <laughs> by my hair. Good morning, welcome to another vlog. It's way too early. Um, we are doing something a little bit different this morning. We need to go to the new condo. We need to check on a little bit of the progress. I mean, we don't need to do it this early, but we thought, get up, get on with the day. We've been moaning about not getting up early enough, so we thought, right, 5 a.m. alarms. Let's do it, let's get up. There's a few things we need to do. We need to drop a few things off there. We need to take a few measurements for some potential new furniture. And, and we also need to check in on the progress of the small repairs that's going on. We may even catch a little bit of sunrise on our balcony. We're gonna grab a coffee and take it over with us. Let's go. Missed Jose so much. Yes. times have we walked in here empty oh, so dusty. hopefully soon wow it's dusty it's so dead. really dusty okay so they've been yeah. in it was sunrise oh beautiful oh the morning plane wow that's so nice Yes, guys, we have just about caught a little bit of a cloudy sunrise. Okay, so hopefully this will be one of the last times that we're actually coming in here and seeing it so bare and echoey, 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 and empty. We actually brought the air conditioning remote with us this time. Yeah, we made a mistake of forgetting before, and it could get so warm in here, especially in the morning time because of the sunrise. So. Well, this is the first time we've been here at this early in the morning. This early, yeah. And that, that morning light is lovely. I mean, it is a little bit cloudy. I was hoping it would be a little bit more golden, um, but I'm sure we'll have, to, we'll have to wait for that one, but I'm sure it will happen at some point. So table and chairs are there. Table and chairs are still there. It's amazing actually to look over at, oh wow, look at that. To look over at the mountains in that kind of morning glow and the Laguna Lake. Wow, every time I come here, that view gets better and better. So yeah, as you saw, or maybe you didn't, in the last vlog, we went around, we went around with a fine tooth comb, really, and Megaworld encouraged us to do that before we accepted the unit. We had like a checklist to go through for any fine, minor details. So paint splashes, any cracks in tiles, any scratches on windows, any inconsistencies with the kitchen work surface. Cupboards not closing properly, cupboards not aligned, light switches, like for example, have they done this yet? Oh, I think they've done that maybe. Yeah, so. so for example, one of these, this wasn't level with this before. Soon we'll be making the morning coffee in this spot. Yeah, super dusty in here. So the guys, the team have been in and done most of the work by the looks of it. There's still a few little stickers where we marked things. So I don't think all the work is fully done, but we're getting there. We do not have a date for when the work should be totally finished. We're not gonna share that because Mainly we don't want to get our hopes up because you never know. Could be delayed, ECQs, lockdown, stuff like that. You never know. As the Beatles said, here comes the sun. You can see the morning glow on us. Okay, let's have our coffee on the balcony. This is a glimpse at the new morning routine when we actually move here. True. We're gonna get locked out, won't we? Oh, you know, we've come out early so it's not too hot. This is the life. This is nice. Our little table and chairs are still here. And this is officially the first morning coffee on the new balcony. Cheers. This 
makes us so happy. This is really, really satisfying coming out here. And this is the first of many, first of many guys. Soon we will be in this place full time and we're gonna get to do this every day. The balcony is so much bigger. I feel like we're really actually gonna use this balcony. We wanna transform this outdoor space. If anyone's good with outdoor space, if anyone has experience, if anyone's done anything on their balcony to make it look a little bit nicer, a bit more um, relaxing, but we kind of, we want some plants out here. We might even get that flooring that gives it that wooden decking effect. Might even get some more comfier chairs, I don't know, a little sofa in the corner or something. I think we've both waited for this moment for a long time. Well, it's been like an hour since we woke up. We've waited for this for ages. Yeah, it's been quite a long hour. It's been over an hour. No, what I mean is I that, what I mean, <laughs> what I mean is that we, this has been a long time coming really to actually moving in here. I think it was before Christmas that we were kind of look, starting to look and consider. I can't remember the timeline. You guys probably know better than me. We've, we've tried to document as much of the journey as possible. Look how big this balcony is. Lucy is so far away right now. <laughs> it's huge. It really is huge. And we're being treated to a pretty good Manila sunrise this morning. Won't lie, we've seen better. We have seen better. But it is a little bit cloudy. <gasps> the weather checks are going to be epic here. It is a little hazy actually and it looks quite cool because we've got the view of Laguna Lake and there's like little smoke things. I don't know if it's people cooking. Can you see like there's little smoky... I don't think you'll get to zoom in on that. <laughs> no, she means somewhere around here. It's like, it looks like people are having barbecues or something or what could it be? I don't know, like burning something. Know. You know this golden light, this is like the so first nice. golden hour of the day. We don't normally see this one, we sometimes see and the next one. It's amplified by the fact that it's like orangey peachy walls because it's like a, um, yeah. it's a building at McKinley but right by Venice Mall and the whole like theme here is a Venetian look. All the buildings here are this kind of orangey colour which at first I wasn't sure I liked but now that we're here there's something quite satisfying and very European-y about it especially with this table and this like um What's it called? Like a fe not a fence, barrier. What's style of style of no, balcony. What's this? Barrier. Ba what barrier though? It's not that like you can't get that. Obviously you can't get that. What is it? I don't know what this like is a called. A wall? No. A gate? No. A fence? No. But yeah, I think it's quite charming and it's quite. It feels quite cosy and cute. I don't know. It's very nice. We've already been here in the evening time. We know that when the sun sets this way, we can firstly see it through this little gap. Were we vlogging? Um, yeah, we were. I can't remember. I think we were. And um, the sunset comes from this side here, and then we get like the golden light on this whole thing. So the view looks beautiful at sunset, but then in sunrise, we we are the golden view because it's like flipped around. So super super nice. It's definitely going to get warm here in the mornings, in the evening. Yeah, so maybe it's still cool now. It's probably more likely that we'll spend early morning here and then like um, afternoon to evening time will be fine. But I reckon in like an hour or two, I think it's going to be way too hot to sit out here because <laughs> it's already getting warmer um, and it's direct sunlight. But we'll be in, we'll have the, we can have the AC on and we can enjoy the view from inside. But it's going to be so weird like having a new routine, going to a different cupboard to get the mugs out for a coffee and like adjusting to that, but we can't wait. We're very excited for it. So our paint samples are still up on this wall. Actually, you didn't actually do enough coats really to be able to properly see it, because you can see now that it's dried, it's actually a little bit see-through. I am still swaying towards B. Uh, it's really hard to show it on camera. Ah, oh, that's better, that's better. So in person, I've made it brighter so you can see the shade more. In person, it's darker. In person, it's more like, that's more accurate to person. But so you can see it, the difference is, this is a tiny bit more, this is a tiny bit more gray bluey, and I feel like it would sometimes look just like a gray wall, and we have that now, we don't really just want a gray wall. Uh, this one's a bit too greeny and I think this one's just really nice in the middle. Uh, it's like kind of like a pine tree kind of green colour and I think that's my favourite. What's yours? Uh, I think the green one. <laughs> I actually want to know. Okay, so. on a serious note, and I wasn't listening to you there so I don't know what you just said. So I'm not just going to be able to go along with you. Is this really controversial? I might be going off green. Really? How about blue? 
I just feel like green would go way better in this space. It might space. go better with the plants and stuff. In that case, I'm leaning more towards this one or this one, but I feel like this would be a oh, bit man. too dark. Are you going for the middle? Yeah. Well, we all know who's going to get their way, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so whilst we're here, guys, we will quickly tell you about a little bit of a change of plan um, from for the design of this place. If you saw our original ideas, we were going to have over here, we were going to have our TV on that wall and a desk kind of here. But now we're thinking, and we had this idea, and then Mike also mentioned it as well, that we could put a desk here. Whole space, so there'd be a few benefits to that. The first one being glare. If we had it against that window, we think we'd get headaches or have to just keep that line down all the time because um, we were looking into the light and we'd be trying to kind of focus our eyes. So this is already kind of darker to edit when you need it to be. If we want to stream, we could build in some sort of lighting and ring lights and things so that it's bright enough yeah, to stream. Yeah, we could potentially have um, wall-mounted monitors. Yeah, and we could have maybe even a double desk going along, a lamp of some sort. Um, yeah, it's probably room, there's definitely room for two desks here, or we just have one big desk. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise this whole area it's almost wasted because all you'd put is a bench or for shoes or something. But it's such yeah. such a big space. It's actually a third of the way into the apartment already. It, it, so we need to use it. It would just it. be to make it look nice if we did that. It would actually just be there to make it look nice if we did that. And this would be much more practical. And it also means that then there wouldn't be a desk looking a bit random in the corner here. Um, because then it would be like, imagine if we had double monitors just here on the desk and the TV, it's quite screeny and techy, uh, less cosy, less homely, and I mean we're still not 100%, but I think I'm swaying more towards that now, and then also we'd have more space, I mean we could have like a gaming type chair as well, Jordan, <gasps> please. it won't be like ugly in the middle Finally. of the room, and Wait, 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 did you guys hear that? I'm putting that out on the record now, Lucy has said on video that we can get a gaming chair. Yeah, I have a bad back yes, to boys. Right? I think yes, boys a and nice girls. ergonomic office gaming chair. No, I've got the one in mind. Is it red and black? It very affordable. How much? Thousand. Thousand pesos. Pounds. No chance. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> not spending a thousand pounds on a chair. Why How not? How will you comply with a thousand pounds? Yeah, a, a chair. <laughs> a gaming chair. Um, I think this will be so nice, right? For a dining table. Mm -hmm. Picture Morning the light. scene. Daffodils, I don't no know. echo. I, can you, I can't wait for there to be not an echo in here. Here, here, here. here. Um, this is making me think of daffodils. Morning Same, light. you know, I look at this and think of daffodils. Stop taking me out of me. I'm not. It's just, how can you? Look, everyone, <laughs> you look at that and you just think daffodil. How can you not? <laughs> All right, we well, need to go. Yeah, also. This is, a ni this is a nice feature at the moment. Yeah, we're now considering having the bed this way instead. Correct. Because then we get a bigger bed. If we have a bed here, we could fit a queen size with two bedside tables, but we can't fit a king size without it being super tight and so hard to get around in the morning. Yeah. If we have a king size, we put it here, and then there's like space around the edge. We can sit here and wake up in the morning and be like... We can leave this door open. Wait, so I'm still <laughs> acting. Walk around the, excuse me, the beds here, I need to get around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk out, make yeah, a coffee. Me. Come with me. Um, yeah. Is this where the coffee machine is going to be? Actually, I think it's going to go there realistically. There's no plugs here. Okay, true. Yeah, I mean, wherever it fits. I think here makes more sense because then it's like solid. It would be nice oh, to yeah. look at that, but I think. Or we could have it. We could literally have it here and make it me? make this whole bit purely about coffee. Oh right, yeah, great idea. Make so where it. am I going to cook? It's oh, fine yeah. for you having this for a coffee area. Oh, I know. I get I've to got it. Here. Food panda. <laughs> Seriously, that's not happening. This is like the most space I've ever had to cook with, and I'm using it to cook. I'm going to have vegetables all over the surface, and I'm not having a coffee machine here. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, we've had a time to think about a few little changes that we want to make and stuff. To be honest with you, just excited to get in and get going and to make some vlogs here. We, we documented our very first 
time moving into our flat back in our hometown in the UK. We look very, very different. We look younger, which is kind of scary, kind of sad, but we look healthier now. Um, and then we, of course, documented moving into our second place. This is the third place that we've lived in together now. The apartment you guys know very well that we're currently renting. We've vlogged moving into there. Uh, our whole life for the last few years is documented on this channel. So, of course, we're going to do the same with this place. Excited to bring you guys along. There's something I've brought with us today that's incredibly important to the new condo. And you're going to be pleased I bought this here. Ready? Ooh, what is it? <gasps> yes. Because if we're in and out here and we need the toilet, I don't want to be left with no loo roll. So wow, you think of everything, don't do. you? So I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> and we'll, we'll come back and all the workers have just used it. While Lucy breaks our new aircon remote, we're going to leave you for another day, guys. Thanks for joining us on, on this little morning mission. Hope you enjoyed. Nice to vlog somewhere different as well. We'll figure this out and we'll get back to you guys. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you're excited for the new condo, leave us a comment below. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next Day Juice. Bye.